Bevo, um, what was the most impressive part of that tonight? I think our defensive performance. I mean, I think we set a league record tonight. <coughs> so, um, yeah, that was pretty outstanding. I mean, it was a, yeah, very, very good. Just locking them down. I, I can't remember them running any offense. And I think that's the key uh, for us is uh, we set, we pick them up so early and just play, you know, Robbo, Damo, they pressure the ball. Um, that's what I look at, just how good we were defensively. You had a fair focus on Shencher throughout the week and kept him scoreless for three quarters. Must have been pretty happy. Yeah, th their offence is based around him. He, he's a pretty good pass around the post and uh, and that they, they started off with throwing it in, work it off it and that was like a key for us is to uh, take that away. And as soon as we did, they, they would go to an on-ball type thing and did a tremendous job of defending on-ball screen. You started with Luke, what was the, the reason behind that? Oh no, he's just uh, you know, been starting the last few weeks, maybe his first week back. You know, I don't want to put any pressure on my mate at all, I just want him to ease him back in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an important last part of the season and uh, it's all about trying to maintain their bodies. That's why he didn't play much tonight. I thought, no, nah, he's done enough here. And uh, same with, with Robbo, I just wanted to rest those guys. Pretty happy with their performances though, those two individually? Oh yeah, yeah, no, I thought it was tremendous. I mean, they came in with that energy and the, that we keep talking about. Uh, we probably lacked that a little bit last week. <coughs> Coming in with that ruthless, relentless type of attitude and that's what that's what we're trying to do is the Wildcats basketball, that's what we do. Last week we did it in the last seven minutes and showed it, but uh, this week I think we did a, a complete game and showed our fans that this is how you play defence. Rob, that's the the third best side in the NBL according to the table we've just destroyed out there. I mean, does that send a message to the rest of the league? I'm not <coughs> worried about sending a message to anybody in the league. It's about sending a message to these guys to understand if, if we're going to win a championship, we've got to find out what our identity is, what brand of basketball is successful for us. And uh, we had a great week of practice, short, sharp. They really switched on, very, very focused, knowing Townsville have won four in a row. <coughs> they've come in knowing that they, they, they've got to beat us to get in the top two. And I think the way that we uh, we played was uh, was tremendous. And there was that little bit of uh, break for players during the week. Uh, was that showing tonight? Was that the refreshed uh, outfit? Um, they didn't get so much of a break because uh, we, we had a camp and things like that. But the, way, the professionalism of these players, the way they took care of their bodies, we shortened our sessions up. Obviously we came in with a lot fresher legs and that's, uh, I think that's a key for us. Uh, to go win games fresh. And obviously uh, with Thursday night such a big trip, must have been a uh, luxury to be able to, to uh, cut down some of the stars minutes tonight. Yeah, I think everybody played, you know, I don't know, what was 25 was the most amount of minutes, so everybody played less minutes and uh, that, that's good for us. Rob, we'll touch on just then, um, must be somewhat of a luxury, you know, having such a big lead in the final quarter, being able to get players like uh, Robert Kassir out there, give them some court time, just unbelievable. You've got that back up there and just great to get him out there and see some time in the Wildcats. We've been working really hard with these young guys coming through and that they are the future of the club and uh, these guys are serving an apprenticeship and <coughs> they're not ready to play just now significant minutes but uh, it was a great opportunity to throw in Kassir, Persa because uh, they are the future of the club three, four, five years down the track. Sean, your own game, sorry, you your own game tonight seemed to set the tone early, particularly in that first half. Yeah, I mean we've been um, been pretty consistent as of late. I think as a team, and we're just playing playing within ourselves, and, and we're pretty balanced. I think that makes us really tough. I mean, you look at how many people we had in double figures, and it's a fun team to play with when you're when you know teams don't know who they're going to focus on night in night out. So it's um, you know we're playing some good basketball, but we got a, a, a good test this weekend or this next week um, against New Zealand. It's going to be um, find out where we're at. I think. You surprised by the margin tonight? Yeah, I mean, I mean, NBL's got great players. Townsville's won four straight, so you don't think you're going to be winning by that. But um, you know, we'll take it. Defense was outstanding. We're still, uh, you know, got some areas to improve, but um, that's a that's a great win against a quality club. What about Brad Robbins tonight? Did you make of his game? He had four steals at halftime. Yeah, I mean, him and Damo just set the tone for the rest of the team, and it's. Um, you know, I think we just feed off those guys, especially when they get up and in the crowd, and, and you know, they just set the tone, and it's um, it's something that they're so important to this team. I think you know, you look at the statistics, and you probably don't see, oh, maybe they didn't have it as great a game, but the stuff they do out on the court and the way they they handle and, and lead this team is outstanding. Ever spoken before about um, Jesse Wagstaff sort of filling your role once you retire? There's a few few years left yet, but um, how have you seen Jesse's development? 
he's got to be playing as good as anyone in the league right now, I reckon. Um, you know, look at his minutes. He's just so efficient, making the right plays. He's, um, he's really grown up, I think, over these last couple of years. And I think that improvement is showing. He's, uh, he's playing outstanding basketball and probably a big reason why we've uh, won five straight now. Personally, how are you or feeling? Or six straight, sorry. Six, six straight. Yeah. How are you feeling um, fitness-wise, yourself with, with the hip and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, actually, it, it's gotten better as the season's gone on, I think. Um, so a bit more confidence in it, and uh, you know I think it's just gonna continue to progress. I'm, I'm looking forward to um, you know just uh, just keep working. I'm you know trying to do some extra stuff to, to strengthen it, Pilates and that type of stuff. So um, it's um, it's something that's just managing, but it's um, you know especially I think the last three or four weeks I've really noticed that it's it's starting to loosen up and I feel like I'm playing better as well. Are you getting sort of closer to the to the level that you have in the past? Do you think? Yeah, I think so. I'm getting getting closer. I mean, it's it's a different role for this team. I don't need to play the role that I've had in the past. I mean, we got Jesse Wagstaff, we got Matty Knight coming off the bench. No team in this league has that luxury at the moment. So it's um, you know just trying to do do what I can and, and fill the role that I need to to help this team be successful. Well, Matty's Matty's minutes seem to taper off. Was that just management coming from? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, completely. Yeah, you know, he really worked hard. Really early, and uh, he made some some great plays, and uh, you know, big margin. It was like he, he's done enough for tonight. Yes. Let's just put him on ice, and uh, let, let's get him prepared for uh, for the New Zealand game. Is that pulled up okay? Seems to, yeah, yeah. yeah. Robbie spoke with New Zealand just said uh, very tough task. I mean, you took care of them on your quarter this year, but it's a different kettle of fish going over New Zealand, the plane flight, and all that, and they're very tough to beat at home. Yeah, no, they, they've got a tr tremendous record at home, and we know that. <coughs> uh, yeah, they've they won a you know, whole bunch in a row now as well, so uh, we know it's going to be tough for us. Uh, we're very, very good on the road. We like going on the road now. We look forward to that, so uh, you know, it's going to be a, a great game next week. Is there any area you need to improve on tonight's performance for the New Zealand game? We broke down with some scouts defensively. I mean, although we held, got the lowest score in the league, which I'm proud of, we could have probably kept them below 50. So I'm on our, on the, our players' case of perfection defensively. Uh, offensively, again, you know, we're probably not shooting the ball that well. From you know, we're 30% from the three-point line, only 47%. It was a lot better tonight. Uh, I think we got a massive uh, area for improvement offensively. So yeah. that's going to be a focus for us is to get better offensively. So obviously, a, a massive game given where the two teams are on the ladder. How do you prepare for a game like that? Oh, to be honest, it's uh, you know, it's not going to be oh, geez, if we lose, it's a, it's a real worry. Uh, it's about if we go in with our brand of, of basketball, we, we're going to get exposed in certain areas. It's, it's like a, a, a test. We're going to go in, and they're going to take things away from us. We're going to take things from them. Uh, so I think that they will probably uh, look to expose the weaknesses, and that's good for us to work on those areas. Can you gain any sort of edge on them, maybe mentally, if you do win this game? Uh, possibly. Possibly, but things change. I mean, we, we beat them by, I think it was 30, 40 points last year at home. They, they went on and won the grand final. So, you know, you, if you think that that was a psychological advantage, well, no, it wasn't. We went over and beat them on the home court. So, probably not. Mm -hmm. Probably not. I think it's too early to say. Yeah. Uh, it was touched on as well, Rob, you know, the amount of defensive pressure that Brad, Damo, Kevin, and all of them can do. They've got to get their hands on against Cedric Jackson, you know, one of the most improved players this season. Dynamic point guarding and have their hands for once again? Yeah, no, he is. He's tremendous. You know, he's very, very close to getting triple doubles every week. He's a great athlete. He's a very good point guard. Uh, but, you know, we're fortunate we do have David Martin, Brad Robbins that can uh, make it as hard as possible for him. You, know, you, can't, you can't shut him down, but you, you make it as hard as possible. Leaving for Auckland on Tuesday, is that the normal process? Two yeah, days yeah we do. I mean, it, it's a, we're, we're looking at, uh, I think, leaving 8 o'clock in the morning, getting at midnight. Uh, so it's a full day of travel. We, we won't get into the hotel until probably one o'clock in the morning. So you, you, you can't do that and then turn, uh, play the next day. So uh, it's important for us. Uh, it's the biggest road trip that we've got. And uh, we've got to make sure that we take care of the bodies and, and we'll train over there and prepare for the game.